Hi guys, I'm Lee Rayner. We are so lucky in our country to have boating as part of our lives. And while your day on the water is nothing short of amazing, for a lot of people, getting the boat in and out of the water can be really daunting. So today, I'm gonna run you through a few little tips that are gonna make your day enjoyable, not only while you're on the water, but getting in and then getting out. So you've got the tie downs off, the bungs in, it's time to get the boat in the water. You've come down the ramp, and now this is the daunting bit if you're new to boating. Couple of quick tips. You can see here on this boat, the back corner's in the water. We've sort of got about four to six inches of water above the back of the boat. That is absolutely perfect to get the boat off the trailer. When you trim that engine down, you're not gonna hit the bottom and damage your prop. The boat will come off easily. And what you will find when you get used to it is you have this sweet spot for your own trailer. This ramp's steep, so that's where the car sits on a shallower ramp. You may find the back wheels are touching the water. This one here is a little bit high, guys. And while this will come off because it's a smaller boat, if we had the back of the boat in the water with just a few inches, it will come off much, much easier, but also come back on easier. This is lighter, so the guys can probably give it a bit of a shove, but if your boat's bigger, get that trailer that little bit further back, and you're gonna have trouble free launching every time. These days, we're really lucky that we have drive on and off trailers, so launching is quick and easy. Try to encourage people to give it a go, because practice makes perfect. If you're unable to drive your boat on and off your trailer, ensure you have a bow and stern rope if required and try to use the outside lanes to make it easy for yourself and other users. So you've had a great day. Let's get out quickly and safely. When retrieving your boat, try to be as quick as you possibly can. Ideally, try to have two people, one to get the car and trailer and one to drive the boat on or pull the boat onto the trailer. Once you're done, move away from the launching area, park the car and start unloading. Remove the bungs, do the tie downs, and if you're cleaning a fish, ensure you move even further away from the de-rigging area so others can use it and you're not holding up the flow. So hopefully those couple of tips help your day be just that bit better on the water. And just remember, if you're new to boating, get down the ramp while it's nice and quiet. Practice getting that trailer down the ramp and parking it in the parking bays because just remember, courteous boating is better boating.